Hello, and welcome to the Art Hitman. I'm Perry McCants. Hang around for a little while, and I'll show you how to grow a gym job. And have some fun. To know yourself. After this, there will be only one better. Are you going to pull that sword out on me? Don't pull that sword out on me. Don't cut me with that sword. Okay, so for Gen Jai, we're gonna divide the page in half. First put in a border that stops the top of the page. Just come down and divide the page in half just like this. And feel free to go off the edge of the page. And we're gonna come down, let's say about an inch. And then begin to draw his head. Then from there, the first thing we want to do, we'll go right on the outside of his head and draw a little slant, just like this. And then come in, just like that. Once you've done that, you're gonna bring almost like a U shape up into the top of where his head is here. Do the same thing for his left side. Make the U shape come just on the outside of where his head is, but make sure let's measure that. So we're gonna come over to about here. Have a line come outside and then come down just like we did on the right side. Next, we're gonna have a line that comes in and down to the center line like this. So it's over and then down. Repeat the same thing for the left side. And meet the edge right here. Come to the end, bring a line in, and let it meet to the center just like this. Repeat the same thing. So this is the first piece that's gonna be on his head. Once you've completed that, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make the top of his head come in and bring the other side of the top of his head down just like that. Right on the right side here, we're gonna have a point that comes all the way up. So take a straight line, this point here, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Stop it right there. Then you're gonna put a line in the center. That's gonna come down to meet halfway. We're gonna repeat the same thing on the opposite side. We're gonna stop, start at the top of the head, right there at the center. And then put the line right there in the middle, bring it down. Now that that's in place, he has two lines, one here, one there on his left side. Now we're gonna work on the bottom part of his face. So we're gonna have a line that comes down like this and come over and it comes to a point. So that's a really simple shape there. Repeat the same thing, you're gonna come in a little bit, close that point right there at the bottom. Now he has um, kind of like visors, almost like Cyclops from the X-Men. So you, what you wanna do is you wanna bring in a line that comes in like this and then come on the left side and do the same thing. And then you're gonna come up just a little bit, then come down to the center line that we have drawn here to divide the page in half. Come back up on this side and repeat the same movement. Now what's gonna happen is we're gonna go on the inside and just repeat that same shape and it's gonna kinda of give it a closed off of visor look for where the eyes are for Jinjai. Come up and stop. Now from here, you can simply just add this line in really dark. Now, we're gonna bring a line that comes out away from his face a little bit, over, and then down. 
Then you're gonna have a, uh, almost like a chin piece that comes down out and comes to a point. So it repeats that shape of the uh, inside shape and then come on the outside, just like this. Repeat the same thing on this side and then come down. Now, you're gonna bring a line here and here. And then you wanna bring a line in here and then bring a line here. Move this line up a little bit. To match this side. Now, once you have that, what you wanna do is he has bolts on either side of his, uh, the chin. Bringing this over like this and repeat the same thing on the left side. This shape here is actually half of an um, octagon shape. And then on the top of the headpiece here, we want to go back up and put that line in dark there because there's a line that divides this headpiece. And then there's three marks, or excuse me, two marks right here. One, two, then three, and then four. All right. Now for his neck, we're gonna simply put an oval shape here. That's the way we want the cords of the neck to go. So what we'll do is just have a line that comes down like this, and then another one come in like this. And we're gonna stop it. Repeat the same thing on the opposite side. and then stop it. We're gonna build Genjai piece by piece. So once we have that, he has an octagon shape that's kinda of right in the center of his neck here. So bring that in over and repeat that shape right here. It's right up under his chin and right in the middle of his neck. Now, once you have that, we're gonna come and bring a line down just like this and just like this. We're gonna go ahead and put his shoulders in, bring a line that goes all the way over. Repeat that on this side. And just to be safe, I always take and measure by the chin and the top of the head with the index finger and the thumb. And I usually turn it sideways to kind of gauge it. It looks good. Do the same thing here, also looks good. So we're gonna repeat this shape and come out just like this, as light as you can. Repeat the same thing on this side. And then we're gonna cut that off because this is right before his shoulder. So we wanna have a point where we stop everything here. Now there's a, just a line just beneath that that kind of repeats itself. So it comes out on an angle like this and then it comes down and stops. Do the same thing for the left side. Right underneath these two points here, you're gonna come in and kind of create a Y shape. So you're gonna come in, complete that, come down, and then stop. And then come back over and up again. So it's like a little Y shape in here, around in this section. Once we've gotten to that point, he has two connector pieces on each of his shoulders. So I'm gonna start with the right side, the right side and put this octagon shape here. and then come around like that. Come down to about here, and then repeat the shape up here, bring it down here, just like this. Now what's gonna happen is, this piece right here is gonna actually meet the end of this. So you're gonna come and bring a line in just like this, and do the same thing here. Come on his left side and do the same thing. Put these two lines in here and we're gonna create this shoulder piece on this side. So you wanna kinda of try and match this side by doing it, putting the octagon shape here. Come around and then meet this line over here. Just like that. You repeat the same shape at the bottom. Just like this. 
Now I want to clean this edge up just a little bit. So I'm bring this on an angle. I'm gonna bring this on an angle. Back in again. Now, right after this, there's a piece that comes in underneath this. It comes over in the center. And you make another center piece just like this and match the side. Move that over just a little bit. And then come down. And right in between here is just a simple circle and a line that goes straight up like this. Once you got this part angle here, I'm gonna kind of bring in a, another angle and come right up like this. There's a, a part of this chest piece that comes in and around like that. And uh, right off the edge of the, where the shoulder is, I'm gonna taper this piece around. This is a part of Jin Jai's chest. And repeat the same shape here. And I believe it's right in between there. So we measured that, measured this, and try and get as even as possible. Come up on an angle to match this, get to the edge, and then bring this piece around just like that. And let this piece go off the page. Most of these lines will go off the bottom of the page. And now we're gonna work on his shoulders. For his shoulders, we're just gonna make a simple line come in like that and come over. And because he's almost like a mech robot or is a mech robot, we're just gonna bring this right down off the edge and repeat the same shoulder over here. Let that line come straight down, over and around, off the page. <clears throat> and on each shoulder, he has two simple uh, circle shapes that kind of inter uh, go within one another. So you have first one go here, and then close that in and bring in another little small oval shape inside, just like that. Right off the edge of his shoulder, he has a bigger one that comes around like this. I repeat the same kind of effect, just like that. Repeat the same shape on his left shoulder. And how you can measure is just kind of right in between that fingernail and the same thing there. And you want to repeat the same shape in here, just like this, another oval shape. These are just two oval shapes within one another. And the bigger one, just below the edge of the bottom, just like this. And repeat the same shape. Okay. Now, he has almost so it looks like a bandana or a metallic bandana that comes off the back of his head. So I'm gonna repeat two, two lines like this and then a shape that comes around like this. And then he has a sword that's coming out of his right shoulder. So you wanna put a piece just like this. So I came up over and back down. And then there's one whole piece I want you to repeat. You go straight up, make an arc like this. Almost looks like a guitar. Come up, bring a line over, and then come back down like this. Now within this shape, you just close off this line here, and then there's a piece that comes up and over like that. And there's a little button on the edge here. Now, if you've drawn up to this point, you just drawn. If you've drawn up to this point, you've just completely drawn Genji. And um, I'm gonna erase, clean it up, and then make the line sharper, and that'll complete the drawing. If you need to, feel free to pause it at the end and take a look at it once it's done. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe by clicking this round button at the bottom 
Also, click one of the two videos at the top. Please like this video, tell a friend, and share it on Facebook. Thank you. The Art Hitman.